The post 9-11 environment is a very fluid, ambiguous uh, kind of a terrorist environment because the adversaries are also technologically sophisticated. They know how to use social media to their advantage. They are brutal and intimidating beyond anything that we have seen. We can contain the Islamic State to a certain degree by bombing the perimeters. We can't bomb the cores of where they live because they live in amongst the people. We don't understand the level of intimidation of the Islamic State. We are not there in numbers understanding the people, understanding what motivates them, what their aspirations are, what success or victory looks like to them. We're not going to be able to kill our way to victory by any means. We're going to have to understand our way to a much more complex, sophisticated kind of solution. And if we are going to aspire to leave behind a secure environment, it has to be one that is acceptable to them. And finding out what that is is a real challenge. I fundamentally believe that knowledge trumps doctrine, that it is the ability to think outside your training and your educational experience that is the key to most success. No situation I've ever come into in any place has directly matched the doctrine written for it. And so the best leaders, I think, are those who are, who are courageous enough to learn fearlessly, who are willing to fall out of love with the doctrine they wrote, out of love with the idea that they, uh, they came up with, and, and realize that most of the great ideas come from the bottom up, not from the top down. And it takes, uh, it takes a courageous leader to recognize that. <laughs>